Um, hi friends, how are you? Um, I'm just doing this video after a long, long time. Um, I'm going to be talking about uh, this new thing in, in Windows 10 um, called Cortana. Uh, this is supposedly like Apple have uh, their Siri in their iPhones and all. Um, Microsoft sort of copied them and, and came up with the same concept um, where you can ask Cortana what you want and it'll, it's going to search the internet or your computer and show the results for you. Um, what happens here is uh, many people including me, we I just don't like this concept. Um, I just think that uh, Windows is taking too many resources doing this. It's just listening to every, listening to you every time, you know. Um, so I'm going to tell you how we can get rid of this completely or we can disable it completely. Um, all right, so we've got a few ways to do this. The first one is um, some people don't like this search thing here, so you can actually make it smaller. And to do that, all you have to do is right click on this and go to Cortana option. You can just say show Cortana icon and if you click, it's going to just turn into an icon sort of thing saving you a bit of space here um, otherwise if you just don't want it you just go to right click go to Cortana just say hidden and this this is completely gonna go um, so this is one way but what happens here is actually Cortana is still active at the background it's just not you, you can't see it here but uh, it's actually activated at the background it's still doing its thing it's still making your computer slow so I'm gonna tell you this permanent fix, um, how we can get rid of this, and this this will change into just a search thing, and Cortana will be disabled. Um, for that, what we have to do is we come here and we write reg edit. We have to basically edit the registry. Um, you write reg edit, and you'll get this command in here. All you have to do is right click on this and run as administrator so you're gonna be this you'll be displayed with this window um, all you have to do is go into H key local machine and do this very carefully you know as as I say because if you mess this up um, you can actually you know your, your windows might crash or something you know so just be careful when you do this go to H key local machine open that up and then go into software um, go into policies and from there you go into Microsoft and in Microsoft you go under Windows so now in Windows uh, some people in Windows you should have something called Windows search um, some people will have it here but some people will not have it as you can see I don't have it here if we don't have it we need to create one and to create all you all we have to do is right click on this Windows thing and we say new key and it's gonna come up like a new key here you need to rename it into Windows space search be very careful with this one w should be capital there should be a space in here uh, and then s capital for the search enter and you've got this key and then what we got to do is inside once it's selected inside we go to again click or right click and go to new and we need to create a d word value so select d word value and in this one we got to say allow Cortana so in this one you just got to make sure that A is capital Cortana C is capital and there is no space in between enter and uh, to change the values we just double click on that and when we double click we have the value data is zero now in in binary we can say in computer language um, zero means no one means yes so what we are basically telling here is allow Cortana is no we don't want Cortana to be activated when Windows starts so just say okay and that's it you're all done uh, close the window 
and now you have to restart your computer and uh, after you restart basically this thing will be gone and this will uh, um, come as a search so I'll just restart my computer and uh, I'll see you um, after it's restarted hi friends I'm back I've just restarted my computer uh, so as you can see the Cortana thing is gone and and this is just changed into search windows thing and if you click on that you'll see the Cortana Cortana is not active um, just to clean it up I mean the way I like to do is you can if you want you can keep it as it is what I like to do is just right click go into search and just say show icon saves a bit of space here and it looks like Windows 7 a little bit so I like to keep it that way so yeah that's how we get rid of Cortana from Windows 10 um, thanks for watching this video and uh, please subscribe to this channel and as, as I'll be coming up with more more videos on Windows 10 or other issues if you have any problems with your computer anything you want to ask you can you can just write it in the comment section and I'll I'll try to do a video for you thanks guys thank you very much